Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and seeing this you might be able to guess that today's video is going to be a what is on my iPad video. I really enjoy watching people's smartphone, I mean iPhones, iPods, uh, iPad minis and iPads videos and I feel like it gives me inspiration like oh I'll get that app it looks really good I'll be able to use it for this this and this so I thought I'll show you what's on mine so I've got the white iPad 2 and it's the large one so first thing this is my like home screen kind of thing you know like because I've got like ooh, one page and then two pages I kind of like things to be neat and sorted and things like that so First of all at the top I have got mine set to uh, the orientation to be locked because if I just turn it like that it all moves and it kind of annoys me that so I've got that set as locked and then like everybody else I've got my mail, my calendar, my photos, favourite app YouTube which is a really good app and I feel like it lets you see the video is really well you can like them really well and the links now you can click in the down bar on a mobile device or an ipod ipad tablet kind of thing and i think that is really good so it's not just computers and then i have got an app, a little folder labeled cinemas where i have got cine world and view cinemas because they're my two local cinemas so like they're really good they just like let you select your local cinema and then they've got a list like of all current films and then you can click on them see the time and you can even book tickets on there as well and the view is pretty much exactly the same as well and the next app along i've got is tv so if i catch up or traveling on the go if there's wi-fi i've got the bbc iplayer app itv player app 4od and the tv guide where it's a really good TV guide actually. It enables you to like drag it in a way that you can, oh, an advert, I hate adverts, um, where you can order your favourite channels kind of thing or just like move it so it's all the ones you see, want to see. So I've got BBC One, Two, ITV Four and Five, ITV Two, BBC Three and I never watch BBC Four so I've got rid of that. And then I've got Four Music, Viva, Freeview, ITV Three, drama and then like the ones that I don't watch are all like down there so it lets you know like what currently on and you can go along and see what's going on so it's Saturday night tonight so for example take me out is on so if you click on it it tells you it starts at half past eight and then it tells you like some information about it and the duration of it so I find that a really handy app and then I've got my games now I'm not very good at game games so i've got a lot of like brain games if that makes sense because i'm rubbish at shooting running jumping in games i just cannot do them at all so i've got games like i've got card game there i've got cookie dozer which is one of my favorites it's basically like a 2p machine it's loading and you hopefully you can see it basically push the cookies off the end and then by doing that you make more cookies and you get treats so you get cakes and when you get all these like unlocked you get um rewards and things like that like more special cookies drop quicker and things like that and i've got spider solitaire i've got monopoly which is really good two player on the ipad i've got sudoku <laughs> see what i mean scrabble i've got solitaire boggle I've got another Sudoku. I don't know why I've got two Sudokus. I need to sort that out. I've got like higher or lower, like, you know, Bruce's cards, right kind of thing. So like a card comes up. I've got the higher or lower where, so it's like five and then you bet. So I'll bet £25 or £25 worth in chips that it's going to be higher than a five. And it was, it's a ten. So I get £25 worth of chips there. I will go lower than a ten and it's an eight. So I got it right. So that is that app. I have got four in a row, so like connect four. I've got 94 seconds, which is really good. And then they give you categories and you basically have 94 seconds to answer questions within them categories. Um, so it could be for one, name an animal that begins with A and then you have to type in, say, aardvark. And they're the things that are, the topics that are slotting through now, actually. So it's things like that and they always give you a letter and you have 94 seconds to get as many as you can and the spelling's got to be right as well. So that is a good game. I've got the chase because I like that a lot. Hectic Flow, Flow Free and Criss Cross. Hectic 
floor is as to each other so where am I up to I'm up to here I'll just show you this one for example so it looks like that and then you go like color the green to the green ooh, the yellow to the yellow and so on like that and you've got to cover every single bit of the so like there that's completed oh no I missed that bit there we go so like that's solved and then so on and so on like that and it's quite a really fun game actually so they're my games and I've got Google Chrome which is a very good version of it on an iPad as well I've got iTunes notes and then I've got like the social tab so within this I keep my blog loving which I find is such a good app to be able to read blogs and follow blogs on blog loving um, and also if you're not following me on my blog um, if you just type in on it um, accent girl 100 um, it should come up on the blog loving or if not on my actual blog which I will leave a link to in the down bar I have a at the right hand side panel I've got a link to uh, my blog loving I've got blogger where I draft my blog posts, FaceTime, Facebook, I've got this message me app, Twitter, Snapchat and Skype. So they're pretty good. I've got my Google, which I'm on all the time. Anytime I think of something and I don't know the answer or I'm not sure, I just think, oh, Google it. I'm always on Google. I love Google. <laughs> I've got the App Store, Safari, I've got voice recorders a fold called voice recorders and you get like the one that you get with your uh, device and then I've got squeak my voice which is really funny like you speak into it and it squeaks your voice into a chipmunk I might demonstrate that now so I've got that app up now and I will say something so I'll record it now hi guys welcome to my channel accent girl 100 and then it squeakifies you and if I play it back turn my volume up you should be able to hear. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Accent Girl 100. <laughs> so it does that and I find it really funny, the things that it does. I've got my calculator settings, which is asking me to do my um, thingy update, what's it called? ISO 7, that, and I don't want to do it because I don't like the look of it, and apparently it takes more of your memory up, so I don't want to do that. I've got a countdown, which is like, you know, 37 days until whatever, or 100 days till I go on holiday, that, all that sort of thing, I like that. Random, this is like stuff that, some of the things that you can't delete, so I've got maps, a converter, clock, my contacts, reminders, documents, game centre, and fret. Uh, what's that threat feed I read the other day that apparently viruses can still creep into devices like this so I was suggested this one to download so I did and then I've got like all photo and video editor kind of things in this so I've got Instagram edit I've got shake up your life I've got photo grid pro which is probably the one that I use most often so you can you go oh adverts because I've not paid for it it's the free version so you scroll through and you choose what kind of frame you want. So if I want that one, for example, and then you add your photos and things like that. So that's pretty cool. I've got photo booth, which everybody should have because it's what comes automatically on the iPad. Videos, beautiful mess, which is a really good editor. I think that was something like 69p or something, but you do some gorgeous framework and writing on there. Play, pick, post, which is another really good one. You are able to select a frame again. So there's like loads and loads of options on here. And then you go into it, you upload your photos and you can choose the size of the frame, like rounded corners, straight corners and what colour you want them to be. And then you can have like, for example, that could be a picture and that could be a picture, but that could be a video. So you can like incorporate pictures and videos within one, if that makes sense. And then I've got Flippergram, which is what everybody's using at the minute to create all their like memories or topics of things like I saw a lot around the new year like my 2013 in pictures so they flash through the pictures and you can choose your song and everything and then across the bottom the things I have there all the time is music camera Instagram that is so blurry Instagram messages errands and podcasts and 
Um, I think I've spoke about podcasts before and I absolutely love listening to podcasts, especially Scott Mills. If you struggle get, to get to sleep or you just want to laugh or you enjoy listening to radio but you don't like all the music on it or you don't have the time, get podcasts. They are brilliant. I listen to Scott Mills every night. Unfortunately, he's on holiday still this week so no new podcasts have come but I think he's back on Monday so I'll be downloading it then but basically you subscribe for free and then they come into your like podcast app every day a new one is released and they're about 45 minutes long with all the best bits of the show but without any of the music so it's all the talking all the funny bits and honestly I lay in bed some nights just laughing my head off and they also um really do help you go to sleep um so generally I kind of set a timer on it if I go on if I turn the volume down and if I go on Graham Norton for example and click it you've got a timer here which you're able to press and then set to five minutes 10 minutes 15 and so on or when the current episode ends so I usually set it for 30 minutes because generally I am asleep by them so they're really good so I have Scott Mills Chris Evans which I don't listen to as much generally I just delete them if there's nobody interested on and Steve Wright in the afternoon which I do enjoy but if there's nobody again that I'm interested in I kind of get rid of so for example the 10th of January Chewettle if a jar I can't even read it I won't be interested in them so you just kind of delete it so they're really really good I would advise anybody to get them and then on this panel I've got, I just called it life, so it's kind of like exercise things which I've not even gone on before, that's why they all say new, I've not even clicked on them but I thought I would but I haven't. I've got like relaxation things just to chill you out and they help you get to sleep as well if you can't sleep. And then I've got my shopping tab, so I've got Amazon, Auto Trader, <laughs> eBay, New Look, Play.com, Savu, voucher code, Groupon, oh I, I want this, I'll show you what I want, Zoella inspired a uh, Yes bracelet from this Etsy shop, Pastel Cloud Jewellery and I really want this Yes bracelet but it is still sold out so I'm waiting for that to come into stock so that's why I've, keep, I've like made it go onto my homepage kind of thing and then yeah Etsy which I've just got into and I really really like it's like all fashiony bloggy beauty kind of shops that people set up and you can buy stuff from and you can look like you can get some really nice unique jewelry pieces from there so that is my iPad and that's pretty much it if you want me to go into any further detail in any of it or show you it more in the light or talk about any apps further um please do let me know and I will like either do another video on it or do a blog post on it or just tweet you or leave you a message in the comments whatever you prefer or want um it took me ages to decide whether i was gonna buy it i actually um got quite a bit of money from my 21st birthday so i researched loads of different ones and i decided that the ipad was the best one to get for me so i went and i was practically shaking handing the money over but i got it I'm so relieved I did because I'm barely ever off it. I just love it. I go on it all the time. It's so quick. It's so handy. You get decent picture quality on it. Um, and it's just brilliant and I love it. So if you're hesitating at all or in two minds, I would if you've got the money and you are prepared to pay for it, I would say buy an iPad. They are absolutely brilliant. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe got some inspiration to get some apps of yourself. Um, I will see you on my next video. Goodbye.